All right, in a primary season that some have said has gone on too long, one Tea Party conservative now calling on Republicans to reassess race, the reassess the race, and back Mitt Romney. South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint saying, "Quote: I can tell conservatives from my perspective is that I'm not only comfortable with Romney, I'm excited about the possibility of him possibly being our nominee. So is this a sign that Romney is gaining the momentum and they are coalescing?" Around him for the first time. Let's talk to our political panel. One of the best in the business, Joe Trippi, former uh, former manager of the 2004 Howard Dean presidential campaign. And no, I can't take that down, Joe. And a Fox News contributor, John Christopher Bua, Bua, and is a White House commentator for Sky News, as well as Roger Stone is here, a libertarian and a political strategist. All right, uh, let's start with you, Joe. Does this seem like a typical time in which Republicans are gathering around their nominee, whether they really love him or not? Uh, it's an important time for for. Uh, Romney, I think DeMint is really key to Why? reaching into the because he, Romney's not doing well with the conservative base, with Tea Party, with blue collar folks. The, one of his best supporters so far has been Donald Trump, who helped really helped him in some of these early states bring those folks on, or at least listen to him. Right. He needs DeMint and others now to come on and follow Trump and, and make it happen for you him. You know, it's I, not. And Santorum yesterday said. You know the opposite. Don't go to don't go to Romney. Uh, Obama's better than Romney, which was just which unbelievable. It, it, almost unprecedented that I can remember. Richard Land also, you know, the big uh, social conservative says social conservatives will also come to him. How big a deal is all this, John? It's a very big deal. It's time now for Romney to excite and unite his party. The the support from a senator from a state where Mitt Romney got shellacked, uh, South Carolina, is very important to him to bring the desperate groups of the Republican Party behind him. Now is the time. Roger, how much power does uh, the Senator DeMint have? Well. Mint was for Mitt Romney four years ago, so I'm not sure this announcement is as momentous as some might think. The problem is you're going to have a very close presidential election in which Mitt Romney doesn't need most of the conservatives to win. He needs all of the conservatives. I still believe with Governor Gary Johnson on the ballot in 50 states as a libertarian in a very close race, getting 5% of the vote could be very damaging. So uh, Romney may do better among social conservatives, but he's still got libertarian conservatives and economic conservatives to worry about. John, not so much Gary Johnson as much as Ron Paul. Well, the fact is Ron Paul is very tricky. He's going to be there. He's going to have a piece of that platform. He's going to have a plank there. He's going to make sure his supporters, they're very adamant supporters, as you can see. The thing is about Romney, people are, are, have to realize he's got a lot of delegates and he's won the battleground states, and this is important to get the Republican Party to behind him so they can defeat Barack Obama, which is their goal, Brian. Right, and Joe, he's going to lose Louisiana, and all the calls are going to come up. He's a weak front runner. Well, he, he can't win the South. He, well, one, he is a weak front runner, and, I don't, and I'm not saying that. we've done it too. We did Dukakis in 1988. I mean, you just you have a sense that a lot of folks in the party are worried that this, even this guy who's the strongest guy, can win, and I think that's what's causing some of this problem. He needs. People to call us now, so he's got some time to, to uh, gun up against uh, against Obama. So I, he's not getting it. Right. It looks like Richard Land, as I mentioned, Freedom Works also getting behind him. So he's starting to get some big time yeah. endorsements he's, as well as Jeb Bush this week. You can't spend the general election worrying about your base and reaching out to the middle. You can't do both. That was the problem with the McCain campaign. If he has base problems, he can spend all of his time chasing votes he should already have. The, okay. The, the winners win the independents. 25 to 30 percent. That's who we need to get. That's who the re Democrats and Republicans need to get behind. Then I need you three to stick around. And plus, I want to also tell the viewers at home that uh, a woman that was in this race, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, will be up next hour. Get her take on all this. Meanwhile, the panel sticks around for this story that so many people are outraged about this morning. The president taking credit for a project he tried to kill a week ago. Will Americans buy Students being used as campaign operatives. One teacher making his class do opposition research on the GOP presidential candidates. That school responds next.